Hello and welcome again. This is Haytham Ben Sliman, and you are watching Ruby Programming Language video series. So, uh, in in the last video, I showed you how to set up your environment by uh, installing the Ruby interpreter and um, downloading our IDE, which is uh, Ruby Mine. And as I said before, you are free to use uh, the IDE that you like. Uh, you have to, you can choose you can use a tenor or you can choose a simple text editor like sublime text or even notepad so um, in this video today I'm gonna show you how to print message a message to uh, your console and uh, and that's it I think uh, it will be a little short tutorial and that's it so uh, let's create a new project make sure to choose empty project from the list this list uh, name your project I'm gonna name it hello world click on create and make sure to click to those two boxes here and click on ok so our empty project has been created and uh, it's empty as you can see here it's empty so we will um, add a new file to this project so right click on this project choose file or uh, name your file I will name it Ruby file click on ok from this list make sure to choose ruby so you, you this way you will create a ruby file with the rb extension and click on ok so here it is our file so um, let's enter to the print vision mode it's like zooming in uh, another ide or whatever so let's enter to this mode as you can see here it zooms in so you can see better uh, so uh, as I told you uh, before in these videos today I'm gonna show you how to print messages to your console with Ruby so I'm going to show you three uh, functions in Ruby that allows you to print messages to the console the first one is called puts so puts this method is capable of printing messages to the console so you can use it with uh, the parentheses or with no parentheses so we are going to test it in the both uh, cases so um, let's, test, let's test it first with the parentheses double quotes and let me uh, type a string here I'm going to type um, hello world and that's it control s to save and uh, right click here and select run ruby file which is the name of your file and uh, as you can see here in our console uh, the message was printed um, and uh, if you have noticed here, I didn't put semicolon in the end of the line. This is uh, a characteristic of the Ruby programming language. In Ruby, you don't have to put semicolon after each line, uh, in the end of each line of code. Ruby doesn't like semicolons. I'm just kidding. Uh, but in Ruby, you don't have to put semicolon in uh, the end of each line you wrote. So. Um, now let's set it with no curly, uh, with no um, parentheses. Let's save and run it again, and the message is printed, and uh, that's uh, proof that uh, puts uh, works fine with uh, with or without parentheses. Now the second um, uh, function is uh, p. It's only p. It's like this. Uh, p uh, work work with uh, with uh, parentheses or with no parentheses too, like puts. And let let's test it out with no parentheses first. So um, and um, for information, there is little um, difference between puts and p, and we will see this difference. So let me um, uh, print the same message to the console. Hello. World. Let's save the pro project and run. So as you can see here, 
the string printed with P is printed to the console with the double quotes but we put the doesn't print the double quotes to the console this is uh, the difference between uh, the puts and P and you can use it either with the parentheses or, with, or without parentheses so let's test it with parentheses and uh, it works fine now uh, the final function is called print um, it's it is the same case for print it works with or without parentheses let's type a new string I'll be typing the, the same string uh, hello world um, I will add something more express for uh, I am a Ruby, Ruby programmer um, let's save our file and run it and as you can see here it prints the message to our uh, console and uh, like p uh, like p or puts uh, print uh, works uh, with or without parentheses um, so uh, i think that's all for this uh, video today um, i was thinking about adding something else but i think i will uh, let it for to the next video so I hope this um, you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. This is just an initialization to the Ruby programming language. I I just want to show you uh, how to print messages. We will be learning more advanced stuffs in the next video. Uh, until in the next video. Bye bye.